Tesla recently unveiled plans to develop a new secret battery that could improve an electric car's range and power, which Tesla CEO Elon Musk predicts will help dramatically reduce costs and allow the company to eventually sell electric vehicles for the same price as gasoline-powered ones. This is not just a concept or a rendering. We are starting to ramp up manufacturing of these cells at our pilot 10 gigawatt hour production facility just around the corner. Yeah. Welcome to SmartSense. In today's video, we are going to talk about Tesla's new battery technology and the real purpose behind all these changes, which I'll get to at the end of this video. Tesla's engineers have been working on new battery tech to make batteries more efficient while still cutting down on the manufacturing costs. And the new Tesla battery technology has been shown to achieve those goals by quite a good margin. Cutting down on the battery cost is crucial to Tesla to produce more affordable as well as durable electric vehicles, featuring more power, greater range, and longevity. With an ultimate goal of moving the world towards sustainable energy, especially in the automobile industry, CEO and owner of the company, Elon Musk, still has a long way to go. Making electric vehicles affordable for the masses is the single most crucial task that they need to achieve. And although the existing price range of the EVs produced by Tesla is quite reasonable for an electric vehicle, given all the amazing specs and performance, with minimal to non-existent maintenance cost, they are still significantly out of the reach of the middle class, which makes up the largest consumer base. Hence the necessity to produce cheap yet efficient batteries. Over the last decade alone, the price for EV battery packs has dropped by an impressive margin of 87%, and yet they are still quite expensive compared to normal gasoline cars. With the new battery technology, Tesla is hoping to cut the costs further by half, which means we would finally be able to get an around $20,000 hatchback in a couple of years. We have discussed this topic in detail in our previous video, which you can find the link for in the description. Furthermore, it would also bring the rates for all EVs further down, and more manufacturers would surely adopt this technology, and hence, more diversification of the EV market, not only in the US, but also in other countries, such as China, where Tesla has recently opened their new Gigafactory in Shanghai. For reducing the production costs, there are two main solutions. First, production of more affordable individual battery cells. And second, scaling the battery production to huge levels. This two-step solution, however, requires Tesla to carry out vertical integration and start manufacturing their batteries, and raising their production to scale. Whereas up till now, Tesla has been sourcing its EV battery packs from local manufacturers, like Panasonic, for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. Turning to what we learned about the new technology from the Battery Day event, Tesla revealed their five-step plan to bring down the overall production costs per kilowatt hour. Cell Design Starting from the core, Tesla has made improvements to the cell design where they have removed the separator tab from the cells, hence the name tabless, and increased them in size as well. These two changes will result in a simpler manufacturing process with less resources and raw material consumption, which means they will need fewer parts, and five times shorter electric paths between the cells and the load, which means less energy dissipation. Nonetheless, the deal about these cells is not just about lowering the production costs, as these cells are also way more efficient than the previous ones, and are expected to make the batteries up to six times more powerful and increase the range of the EV by at least 16%. Tesla is calling these new cells the 4680 cells. Tesla's Pilot Cell Factory in the new cell factory, which is aimed to achieve the production rate of 10 gigawatt hours per annum, the cell manufacturing process has been made much simpler and straightforward. Although this simpler process is not to be confused with it being a simple task for Tesla engineers, who have given their last drop of their blood, sweat, and tears to make it possible. In the new electrode manufacturing, the wet process has been skipped, which is a multi-step process and is just simply replaced with a single dry step. This simplification in the production process will reduce the overall waste produced by the factory and cut down its carbon footprint by 10%, and would also need 10 times less energy consumption than the old procedure. Tesla's short-term production goal for the cell factory is to achieve 10 gigawatt hours by the end of 2022, and the long-term plan is to achieve a production capacity of 1 terawatt hour by 2030. Anode Material Silicon is the second most abundant material readily available from the Earth's crust, and comes very cheap, and contains all the properties of excellent anode material. However, the thermal properties of silicon have been the biggest hurdle in achieving the required efficiency as part of a cell. 
The good news is that Tesla engineers have found a way to circumvent this problem. The utilization of an inexpensive material like silicon will further cut down the production costs per kilowatt hour by 5%. Cathode material. Tesla has also announced that it will eliminate the use of cobalt in cell cathodes, mainly due to the ethical and humanitarian issues linked with cobalt mining. Conversely, Tesla has found an at-par alternative in nickel, which is also cheaper than cobalt, as well as other suitable metals. This step leads to an incremental 12% decrease in battery production costs. Cell Vehicle Integration Tesla is going to produce its single-piece casting for the front and rear body of the vehicle, which is currently under production in Tesla's Fremont manufacturing plant. And on top of it, Tesla is developing their high-strength casting alloys. They are also introducing structural batteries, in which batteries serve a dual purpose, being the power source as well as a structured element to the body. This innovation in design and architecture will lead to 370 less parts needed in the assembly up to 10% reduction in mass of the vehicle, a 14% range increasing opportunity, and decrease the production costs by 7%. This five-step plan is expected to cut the production cost of EV batteries up to 56% for now, and truly, these costs are going to further decrease as more improvements are made over time. So, at the beginning of the video, we talked about how there's a bigger purpose for all these changes on Tesla's batteries. Elon Musk's goal is to make gasoline cars completely obsolete, and he does not flinch at other manufacturers who are stepping into the EV industry. He has also relinquished all of the Tesla patents and released all the new company designs for others to follow. Reducing the number of parts and the total mass of the battery pack therefore enables Tesla to improve efficiency and ultimately the range of its electric vehicles, with the final goal of being the best EV on the whole market. We hope you enjoyed this video about Tesla's batteries and their new changes. If you like this video, then make sure to click the like button and subscribe to SmartSense. We are going to be doing a lot more videos on topics that we find super interesting, so we hope you'll join us along this ride. See you soon, and take care.